Hey, what's good, guys? This is Nightwing2303. And Dramon, but with allergies. Uh, heavy allergies. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about the Suicide Squad number what trailer? Two trailer blitz. Now, uh. I had said in the last video, because we were talking about how stuff always drops when we do something like this. Did it really drop the next day? Literally okay. the next day or Actually, the day it, after. it did. That's right. I remember And all everyone comments. hit me up like, yo, you guys called the Suicide Squad trailer. I had said specifically... It's literally the next day. Yeah, the next day. Tomorrow or sometime tonight. Suicide Squad trailer Something's too. gonna happen. <laughs> and then boom, it came out. But like clockwork. Like clockwork. We're happy that this new Suicide Squad trailer came in. What caught your eye right off the bat? The whole thing. The whole thing? It was amazing. It's good. And you know what's so funny is that it's WB. Mm -hmm. It's DC. Yeah. It's, this is something that we were just talking about off camera is there's such a drastic difference between promotional stuff mm -hmm. between Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. I don't know if it's because of budget and so maybe they have less budget so they're not focused, you know what I mean? But at the same time they're using characters where it's like these are very important like having Joker so they don't want to mess around but whoever's cutting these trailers is doing an excellent job. We just did frame by frames trying to piece together a scene <laughs> <laughs> and they were so... We're like, wait, no. Yeah. But then, yes. Oh, wait a minute. No. Exactly. No. Yeah. Like it's crazy. They had, however, it was at least three scenes cut into one scene in this trailer. It was crazy. Right. And this trailer showed you a lot, but nothing in chronological order or, or in, context. in any sense, right? Yeah. It's just, here's a bunch of stuff and you're going to love it and you're excited. Now... It's, it's funny because they tell their own story with the trailer. Right. But it has nothing to do with the story of the movie. Exactly. It just baffles me because I'm, I don't know if David Ayer cut a deal where he's like, I want to cut my own trailer because some directors do do that yeah, or if I, Zack Snyder cut that deal and his trailers were <laughs> trash. I'm yeah. not sure what happened. All I know is the stink always smells the strongest whenever Zack Snyder is involved. I'm sorry, what do you want me to say? But this trailer is fantastic and the thing that caught my eye and it just happened, the opening they say, what if Superman went to the White House, ripped the roof off, what did they say, kill the Superman, whatever. I don't know. Who would have stopped him? He, he basically when, saying who go, would stop go, Superman. Yeah, if Superman went rogue. Right. And then the rest of the trailer is like all this crazy stuff. And then Amanda Waller says, if they get caught, we throw them under the bus. If they get caught, we throw them under the bus. And then he turned around and said, get caught doing what? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, get, exactly. Get caught doing what? Because earlier she had said, I have a group of very bad people that I think can do some good. Mm -hmm. Getting caught doing good things? Exactly. Like what? It doesn't that, make much sense. Yeah, that led me to believe this might be a heist movie because I remember in pre-production they were setting up these miniatures which you do very much so in a heist movie, mm -hmm. a heist production. And so I'm like, cool, it's going to be kind of a heist movie. And I think David Ayer even said that. Okay, so what are they stealing? He's thinking that... He the scenes where the kryptonite went missing in Batman v Superman. Right. Where Lex comes in and hit the bat, um, Spo batarang. Spoiler, by right. the way. Right, spoilers. <laughs> Whoops. Where the, Lex comes in and where the kryptonite was, there's a batarang. Mm -hmm. My working theory, because this trailer's cut so beautifully, like, we can't really know. Yeah, but, we don't know what right. the hell is going on. My working theory is that the Suicide Squad went to go steal something. They didn't know what it was, mm -hmm. but the it people... It might have been the, the kryptonite so that yeah. they had a way to stop Superman. Stop Superman. If he ever went rogue. Because they were saying, like, who's going to stop him? So, boom, there's that connection. And then we know Batman's going to be in this sparingly, but we know he's in it. Mm -hmm. Maybe Batman knew that they were, the government had a mission to go get the kryptonite, and he just swooped in at the last minute after all the work was done and swooped up the pot of gold. It's super plausible. It's, it's If that were to happen, I would be like, I would be like, yo, that is sick. Not because I called it, but just because I'm like, that's Batman. That's what he would do. Well, not only that, but that would make certain points of Batman v Superman make a little bit more sense. I know. At least in that scene. Exactly. And on top of that, it would mean that DC does have at least half a brain <laughs> when it comes to putting together an actual universe. Yeah, and when that scene happened in BVS, I felt like how I felt when I saw No Country for Old Men. And if you haven't seen it, the big action sequence where a bunch of people die was basically just they didn't show you any of it but they showed you the aftermath I didn't see and it. we were like wait you didn't show us that part that scene in bvs felt like that to me 
maybe this is why they didn't show it. This one scene, though, because BVS was a mess in its own oh, right. Oh, for sure. But, so, but this one scene maybe has more context throughout in this other movie, which would be great if DC or Warner Brothers or both is able to actually connect the dots oh my God, between please. franchises. I think that that would be awesome. Because the way they're going right now, they're like that four-year-old who has a connected dot in their color book and just does whatever they want. <laughs> I think that they started three different connected dots in one movie. <laughs> right. It's crazy. <laughs> so it's they just crazy. didn't finish them. Right. Another thing that caught my eye in this trailer. I'm a fan, right? Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Now, early on, you were kind of shaky, and then every I, little yeah, bit more came on. Yeah, I wasn't sure, just because, right. you know, Will Smith. Respectable, I understand. Will, is Will Smith. But in this trailer... The part... I can't remember that guy's name. The fire guy? Diablo, I oh, think. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. He's such a, a low-level villain. Oh, like, like not even C-list. Yeah, like. th there's like A, B, C, D-listers. Diablo. He, yeah, he yeah. might be below that. So, <laughs> um, again, th the two scenes are not together, but they put them together in the trailer. And just the, the way that Will Smith not only pushed him, but then reacted after to him pushing him, it reminded me of Fresh Prince right. Will Smith. But not in a bad way, in a good way, right? Because you could be like, some haters might be like, oh, he's just doing Fresh Prince, he's supposed to be Deadshot, but it still felt like it fit in that yeah, world. Yeah, so when, when, you change, when you change little subtleties, uh, like, like the character's race, you have to have that character be as if they are that race. You can't have him be a black, white Deadshot. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, that wouldn't make any sense. So right. the way that he's acting in this, to me, makes me feel like if a black guy were to be dead shot, that's it. Right. And I think that that's really cool. Yeah, he was basically like treating Diablo like he treats Martin Lawrence and Bad Boys. <laughs> like, come on, like yeah. get pumped, get pumped. Bad Boys, one hell of a movie. Oh, it's, that, uh, yeah. That is from start to finish. Bad Boys 1 or 2? So fun, both. Both. I, both. Well, Bad Boys 2, maybe not quite as good as the uh, first I one. I think Bad Boys 2 is... Uh, and I think that the first one, just because it hit home right, right. so hard, like right out the gate where I was like, dude, this is awesome. Both, Bad both Boys is good. Agreed. You ever made love to a man? No. You want to? Next up, we have to talk about this. Mm -hmm. William Defoe just got cast just for gonna, Justice League. I was just going to bring that up. Okay. We're on the same page. Okay. Yes. So tell the people the working theory about that. It may not be your theory, but just tell when the people. I Previously, uh, fans have pieced together because of the way that this current Joker looks, that he might be the Joker that they used in, um, what was that latest Arkham game? Arkham Knight. Okay, where it used to be Jason Todd, or he, Jason Todd is the Joker. Right, which, by the way, I 100% that game all the way, found all the Riddler <laughs> trophies. If you know what I'm talking about, you know that's a grind. Continue. Okay, that's one theory where they think that this is not the Joker. They think this is maybe a second Joker. Right. Um, that was tortured by the original. Now, I had said that maybe that's too confusing for new DC viewers. You definitely said that. And then we were, we were in the car... And we were talking about how confusing they made Batman v Superman. That which they would, might just that it might they just might just <laughs> for f it, f it, you know yeah. what I mean? Like this is like we were already confusing the shit out of everybody. Why not just go a step further and have two Jokers? Now William Defoe was was rumored to be cast as a good guy, but I I personally can't see who he. Yeah, be. but who? That's right? what I mean. Who? Like who? Like, There's nothing, especially for Justice League. It doesn't click. Right. So I'm wondering, and this is a theory as well from uh, other fans, if maybe William Defoe is not a good guy, but in fact the original Joker. And it would be crazy if that was flashbacks. You know what I'm saying? Like William Defoe flashback Joker scenes right. in Justice League, so you can get to know the Batman before his solo movie, which was announced. The, the thing is, is that people are, are complaining that this Joker is too young for this Batman. Right. Even which, though the actors are the same age. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. I mean, right. they put a little bit of gray in his hair, whatever. Yeah. So they're the same age off camera, but I mean... Okay, so to th sum things up, mm -hmm. the original Robin was Dick Grayson, right? The very original, yes. Right. And then he moved on to be Nightwing. He was kind of kicked out or fired. Okay, right. So he moved on to be Nightwing. Yeah. Then the next Robin was Jason Todd. Yes, a street rat. Right. Then Jason Todd got captured by Joker, tortured, and basically became Joker Jr. No. That was in okay. the video game. Okay. In the comic books, he was tortured, or captured, tortured, beaten to death by a crowbar. Yes. Left for dead. 
then blown up. Okay. So he was murdered. Okay. Like dead, dead. Okay. Okay. So you're right. Okay. So in the video game, he then he became. In the Joker. yeah, the video game and the comic book version of Jason Todd are different. Well, in the video game, he in just the, became Red Hood. He didn't go full Joker yet. Yeah, in, but in, in the comic books, he becomes Red Hood also when he comes back. He what, gets dumped in the What about that pit. one uh, animated series? The Red Hood. Under the Red Hood. No, the the one where Joker does turn Robin into a Joker. Oh, that was uh, that was Batman Beyond. Return right, Batman Joker. Beyond. Right. Okay, so and that, that was one. Tim because in the video game he didn't become Joker. That was Tim Drake. Oh, okay, so yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, basically to sum things up for everyone. We're fucked. We don't know what's <laughs> yeah. going on. Robin basically <laughs> becomes a Joker. Supposedly. Okay, so that's basically that's the, the gist of that's it. That's the theory. And that William Dafoe is the original. The OG Joker. The which real Joker. He which totally would be crazy. looks like a Joker. He was originally cast. I told you this some, yes. sometime, but he was originally in the running to be the original Joker in 1989's Batman with Michael exactly. Keaton. Exactly. Now, let me start by saying two things. A, I'm not completely sold on that theory. I understand all of it. Mm -hmm. And B, William Dafoe, just because he's played villains doesn't mean he's typecasted of, into of a course. villain, right? Yeah. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not fully on board, but let me do, let me do say this. With that being said, little what, de devil's advocate. What if the laugh we hear in the trailer is his? Is Defoe? Because mm -hmm. it sounds pretty on point with him and what he sounded like in Sam Raimi. Yeah. Like, can you just can you just play the laugh in the beginning? After hearing it one more time, I do think that is Leto. Okay, yeah, I totally agree, but it would be crazy if that was Defoe and... It's super yeah. plausible, dude. And like I said, it seems like they just casted him. He could have been cast and they could have just announced it, right? And, and that's the thing, is that my my rebuttal to that, we had talked about this previously, was they did reshoots. What if adding him in was the reshoot? Right, which is crazy. It would I be nuts. Know. It's crazy. This it's is, a crazy theory. Yeah, this is totally out of left field. It's right. probably not going to happen. See, the, prob the, the most frustrating thing is like, this is awesome because as nerds, as fans of film, we get to duke it out and see what might happen, predict all these theories. That's great, but... None of it makes sense. As the <laughs> Star Wars stuff, you know, we're like, that does make sense, but it could mm -hmm. also be this. And everything is kind of nice and it's, it's well-mannered discussion, but this is I, just like chaos. I think that's because with Star Wars, there's a definitive... Right. There's there's definitive uh, there's a definitive Facts. story. Right. Right. There's what they call canon. Canon. Right. With DC, Jeez. my bad. Um, <laughs> but with with DC, I mean, what Batman was introduced in the 30s. Yes. Right. And then so, yeah, we have years yeah. of stories. I know, but still, else world tales, anything. We still have BVS, which is just, just like crazy. I would say crazy and desperate enough to to maybe do it. I would be. So stoked if we're watching the movie together for the first time and shit's unraveling and all of a sudden like just Nightwing comes in and oh. it's just like bah, bah, bah. Dude, if Nightwing oh. if Nightwing even shows up in this movie I might jump out of my seat and run out the theater yeah, I, just out of excitement. You know how we say that all the time? Like I say that to my girlfriend all the time. I'm like, if this happens in this movie, I'm leaving. <laughs> but it's like it doesn't make sense because you're like you want to keep watching it, but it's so good. It I'm be, leaving. It would be such a what the yeah. Like, that I'd just be like, I'm walking out of the theater yeah. right now. Yeah, we say that. I don't know why we do, but it it, it feels <laughs> so right to say that. But it's crazy. I hope that happens. Those were our thoughts about the latest Suicide, suicide Squad two. Blitz trailer, whatever Blitz means. Yeah, why is it called Blitz? That might be the operation name, oh, Blitz, or okay, something maybe. like that. I don't know, but tell us what you think of your fan theories, everything we talked about in the comment section below. See you next time. Peace.